in line with their vision to be a frontline group of conscious and dynamic Muslims with a positive and effective impact on their alma mater and the society at large. The University of Lagos Muslim alumni, also called UMA, in accordance with their tradition of hosting pre-Ramadan lectures for the past 24 years, once again brought Muslim faithfuls together for a well-coordinated program majority of people have described as well unique. In the President's welcome address, Alahaji Akib Sholao Ladoku enjoined all to be best of conduct during Ramadan season and beyond. If other counseled on the need to get registered in order not to be disenfranchised during the forthcoming general election. It is expected of us to bring to bear in our daily lives the teachings of this blessed man, our consciousness of Allah, our charitable dispositions, our sustained admonition to various dawahs at various tafsir, and compassion to the led privileged members of the society to not be restricted to the month of Ramadan. In the chairman's remarks, Professor Abdurrahman Bello, former vice chancellor of UNILAG, praised the efforts of the UMA, particularly in the scholarship scheme for the postgraduate students, but advised that the issue of empowerment of the students should also be taken seriously. I want to warn UMA and other organizations, good organizations, to commence job empowerment programs. Not that to create jobs and give them jobs, no but to prepare them for their own self-employment creation. We are proud of UMA at the University of Lagos, and the Muslim community in Lagos to be proud of this phenomenal lecture as it has become permanent and uh, become uh, one of the key events uh, of Ramadan. The uniqueness of this year's edition of UMA Ramadan Lecture is the choice of a female scholar, Professor Binta Tijani Jibril, Director International Institute of Islamic Banking and Finance, Bayero University, Kano. As the guest lecturer, the well-researched and delivered lecture held the entire JF Ade Ajayi main editorium field to capacity spelled bound. As its shared similitude of a classroom setting, she addressed varied issues in line with the topic, challenges of being a Muslim in present-day Nigeria, touching on poverty, riba, inequality, capitalism, socialism, inflation and lots more. The main goal of attention of this uh, presentation is that uh, economic recession, poverty and inequality are products of the secular world view. Because economic recession itself is really a phase in business cycle, defined as a periodic but, but irregular up and down movement in economic <coughs> that is measured by transformations in GDP and other macroeconomic variables such as unemployment and inflation. She emphasized on the need to strengthen the Zakat institution in a bid to eradicate poverty and inequality like we have in some countries. The Lagos State Coordinator of UMA presents the beneficiaries of the scholarship scheme of the Masters and PhD while calling on the guests to support the scheme to boost the number of Muslims to embrace the teaching profession. The feedback from the event was overwhelming from the organizers, guests, and the lecturer. I'm really impressed by the sister's um, exposition. She has been able to x-ray the problems in Nigeria, the problems of finance, and how we can use our knowledge and the Islamic jurisprudence to solving the myriad of problems that we have in Nigeria. We, we give all glory to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every year, year, year out, we've already come up with uh, new ideas, innovations, and at the end of the day, hold our heads high for the turnout of people, for the submission of the lecturers, and for the belief that people still have in us that uh, every pre-Ramadan, everybody look forward to attending this program. I want to take some things out of the lecture. One, that there is need for one to have deep understanding about the religion. Two, there is need for us to get educated and there is need for us to be financially viable. And these are facts that I've taken from the lecture. I consider as my little contribution to the Ummah. This is the only thing that as teachers we can do, share our knowledge, share our experiences, share our ideas. So I'm, I'm really happy. What I tried to do in the lecture 
is to look at the challenge of poverty and uh, inequality uh, in the Muslim Ummah, uh, especially within the context of uh, a secular uh, society or a multi-religious society. Were there challenges preparing for this year's edition? It was challenging preparing for, you know, as rightly stated by the, by the guest speaker, uh, at the 11th hour, she almost declined to come. Well, this one particularly is challenging. One, we decided to take a turn this year by inviting a sister. In the 25, 24 years of this program, this is the first sister that will talk. We had some challenges bringing her from Kano, but alhamdulillah she was able to make it because we know the kind of person she's made up of. The host also capped it up with his council. We can eradicate poverty in Nigeria if we are able to make sure that our citizenry are well educated, they are supported financially in terms of um, um, small SME, in terms of business, and also our students in terms of entrepreneurship, innovation, and also we make sure that the environment is not hostile, that our environment is able to accommodate all these new ideas. Definitely, Nigeria will do better than many of the countries. We wish the UMA High School and members success in their future programs.